down today. Okay, we have to write down Einstein's equation, the Einstein field equation. What? No! I think we should write down Newton's universal law of gravity. Of course not. Only Einstein's field equations apply to every single situation in the universe. Are you sure about that? Of course. Forget about Newton's law. It doesn't apply to high speeds or great gravitational fields. Well, I mean, Einstein's field equations wouldn't exist without Newton's universal law of gravity. Oh, you're right. Yeah, and guess what they reduced to uh, when you set the velocity to a realistic speed and the gravity to a low speed, uh, to a low uh, quantity. That gives you the uh, Newton's universal law of gravity. Okay, okay, you, you've convinced me that we should write down both equations. But first of all, can you explain to me what Newton's law of gravitation states? Newton's law of uh, gravitation basically says uh, Fg, or the gravitational field strength, is g m m over r squared, where g is a constant of proportionality, m is one of the masses. But can you explain in English what it, what it means? What does it say? So it basically says that the product of the two masses of the objects that are feeling the gravitational force uh, divided by the square of the distance between their centers is proportional to the gravitational force that the two feel. So is I don't see any T in Newton's law of gravitation. Is there any weakness? Oh yeah, it does not take into account, as you said, large gravitational fields or a uh, large relativistic speed. Okay, so why don't you ask me to uh, for Einstein's field equation? Yeah, what is it? Well, Einstein's field equations was a single equation that Einstein wrote down as a Swiss pattern clerk in 1915. You want to hear it? Yep. R mu nu plus one half R g mu nu plus the cosmological constant uh, times g mu nu is equal to 8 pi g over c to the 4. Can you tell me what such a long equation even means? Yeah, Einstein's field equation says something very simple. Space-time, matter tells space-time how to bend, and space-time tells matter how to move. So, how does this relate to the universal law of gravity? Well, every single piece of matter has a gravitational field. And if that gravitational is, field is sufficient enough, it can bend the fabric of space and time. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. So, let's get to writing. Okay. Good luck.